Hey everyone, it's Sunday with Timmy, XJW. Obviously, I'm back with another Jehovah's Witness video, as you can tell by the title. Here for your viewing pleasure. This is probably going to be my last Jehovah's Witness video making. For a while, anyway. See as long as this fan interview stuff actually starts taking off. And I'll try to squeeze in some Jehovah's Witness videos in between that, but I'm still going to tried to focus on band interviews, but like I said, in the meantime, this is going to probably be my last show with witness video for a while, for my ex show with witness friends watching this. I want to talk about this. I don't, I didn't get really in deep conversation. I mean, I've talked about shunning and their stupid policy and all that stuff and their two witness rule policy, but I want to get a little more in deep with this, and I don't care who watches or listens. I just want to share my story out there because my channel had actually been pushed out there quite a bit. But anyway, besides the point, I know I've talked about, again, like I said, shunning two witness rule and growing up watching people get disfellowshipped and my dad here and there quite a bit. But I want to get a little more in deep, like I said. My dad, like I mentioned before, he was brought up. Catholic. He was born and raised a Catholic until he was 12, converted to a Jehovah's Witness at, again, the age of 12, then carried it all the way to his adult, in, to, into his adulthood. And it's kind of sad that these older people in the kingdom halls, as we like to call it, in, as growing up as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, or for those who were obviously brought up, <laughs> uh, these older people think they're going to be in a new world when they pass away and expect to be woken up at resurrection and all this positive stuff that they're being told, when in reality it's not going to happen. Anyway, I also want, I wanted to talk about this about my dad and my mom because I want to share this to people who are watching. So, m like I said, my dad converted at the age of 12 all the way up into his adulthood from Catholic to Jehovah's Witness. And in between all that, now this happens two different times, but my dad decides to have an affair with his first wife. And again, this happens different times. Not at the same time, obviously, but different times he has an affair with multiple women, with it, which is two. So I have two half-sisters because of that, whom I don't communicate with. None of my siblings, except for one, is none of them are Jehovah's Witnesses, but they feed off the energy from my parents because of that. Anyway, I'm, I think he got this fellowship for it. Yeah, he got this fellowship for having an affair because it's a sin to them. And then, after I'm born, about four years old, my mom has an affair with a worldly man. And gets this fellowship for it, obviously. I don't see how it's not okay to... Now, I don't support this in any way, obviously. I really don't, but I just don't see how it's not okay to have an affair with your spouse who is a Jehovah's Witness just like you, and yet they support, as much as I don't really want to get into it, but as much as they support rape, I don't see... How one is okay, but not the other. Now, both of them aren't, but obviously, it's common sense. Both of them are not okay, but it they think it is when it really isn't. But that's their brainwashing technique. These people who are supposed to be leading examples spread lies to their followers to make them believe something that's never going to happen. But then when something bad happens in the kingdom hall... They sweep it under the rug. I don't see how that is okay at all. 
But apparently to them, because that's how their mind works, that's what rules they set up. Some pretty pointless rules. And they think that's okay. The raping part anyway. But having an affair with your spouse who's also in the same religion as you is not okay and not acceptable and you get this fellowship for it. For the person that had the affair. Even though I don't support both of those, I'm just saying it's mind-boggling to me to see that these people who are supposed to be setting examples for their followers don't really do that at all. I don't know, it's, it's very all confusing, but that's just how they find ways to manipulate people. They manipulate their followers to get what they want. And they do it, and they know they do it well because they'll believe whatever it is they tell them. They could tell their they could tell their followers that oh we're a cult, and they'll still want to believe that because part of that is because also a lot of us, as a lot of us know this already, but I'm just saying for those who don't, physically and emotionally, their mind is not there. I'll give another example, and I've seen this a lot. I'm going to just throw this out there, and I don't care who watches and listens. They say they're one of Jehovah's, Jehovah's happy people. If they were ha really, truly happy people, they wouldn't be coming to ex-members such as myself and leaving nasty, nasty hate comments toward us because we have the truth and they don't, and they can't grasp why we're doing what we're doing. So they attack us, because that's how far their mind from reality is, both physically and emotionally. It's kind of sad to see that, to say the least, to see that they would go and attack their ex-members, such as myself. But can't really do anything about it, because... They're too brainwashed. That's what brainwashing is of what I just explained. <laughs> but no, it's kind of, it's really sad to see people who are supposed to be loving and caring really truly aren't. For those who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses watching my videos, look at the comments from some of the smaller channels. Well, bigger than mine, but smaller than most channels out there. Look at the comments and see how bad they truly are. They leave these really nasty, hateful comments toward us. What they say about us. Calling us apostates. And all this other stuff. Because that's not love at all. You don't do that. But unfortunately, you also... I, you can either... You, there's no in between with this. Again, it's kind of like at the end of the stick kind of thing, like I mentioned earlier. You either stay in the religion with your friends and family, you have no choice, or you leave the religion and everyone doesn't know who you are. They completely forget who you are. They treat you like dirt, basically. Yeah. So, anyway. That's just what I want to talk about. Again, one last deep, I guess, message with what I went through. So, anyway, if you enjoyed this, leave it a like. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Like I said, if you're new here or you watch me but you just haven't done it yet, only takes a few seconds of your time, not a lot of energy into it to subscribe to me. And, yeah. Like I said, I think this is probably my last Job and Witness video for a while. But I'll also try to squeeze in some in between band interviews if that tape really takes off. Also, don't be afraid to share this channel around with your friends and family on social media. I can tell my channel is really getting out there. So again, don't be afraid to watch my videos. If you haven't already, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And that you made it this far to the end. Even if you're a returning visitor, which a lot of you are, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think, 
I know a lot of my actual witness friends will agree with this, like I've said before in my previous videos, but that's just my ending title. Anyway, I don't know. But like I said, that was, that was probably my last show of witness video for a while. And until then, hope you guys are having a good day just like I am. It's Friday. It's nice out. Yeah, semi-nice. I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are, wherever you are, enjoying your day as well. And yeah, I'll see you next time.